This is an XQ. There's not a ton of them around, so they're rather rare and valuable. And back in the day, they cost like $10,000, give or take. But because the computer is about 30 years old, that means the hard drive is about 30 years old. And we all know how these things can just die. So, how do we fix a dying hard drive with something like this? Well, that's what we're going to try today. And you're coming along with me. Let's go. Hey guys, how are you all doing? If you're new here, welcome. My name is Crazy Ken. And I'm Steve from Mac84. Who the sh are you? We've known each other for years, Ken. Oh, of course. So today we're going to be taking a look at this next cube. Now, these are pretty rare, I'd say, pretty yeah. valuable. There's not a lot of them around, and these were made by, well, Next, Steve Jobs' company after he let's just say left Apple in the mid 80s. Before he came back to Apple, he had this company called Next and Pixar, you know, that little one. Now, Steve, what are we going to be doing today to this old thing? Well, it has sort of a noisy, scuzzy hard drive, would a, you say? A very noisy hard drive in it, yes. Maybe a ticking time bomb <laughs> scuzzy hard drive? Right, this thing is 31 years old, I think? Yeah, it's pretty and old. So, like, the hard drive could probably go at any moment, and it is loud as hell, so... Uh... How are we going to remedy that? Well, there are some flash storage solutions that you do have for SCSI devices these days. Is that what this thing is? Because it's been sitting here for like three years and I just don't know what it is. Yeah, that's exactly what that is. Cool. So basically, we're going to take the hard drive out and this is going to be the new hard drive. It's really just going to be an SD card, which will not give me as much anxiety if it's going to break or not. It's also going to be a lot quieter. Yeah, just, just a bit. This doesn't really make much noise. And uh, speed? You think it's going to be faster too? Yeah, we can run some tests. And of course, to open this thing, we're going to use our handy dandy iFixit toolkit thing. So uh, thank you, iFixit, for... No, wait, I can't really thank you. You didn't give this to me. Greg Rutke from Rutke Mods did. So thank you, Greg. <laughs> so, Thanks, Greg. Yes. Steve, you ready to do this? I am ready and willing. All right. Well, then I'm getting the hell out of here. It's all you. All right, where's my hammer? <laughs> Et voila. Here is the back of the next cube. So... So yeah, they don't actually come out, they just kind of stay in. So then uh, the fan is on like one of those like springy cords. So we'll just uh, take that apart. So we got the springy thing and we'll just, yep, go ahead and hold that there and we'll just disconnect the power for the fan. So there's the power cord for the fan and we'll flip this around here. There's the fan, just one fan. It's beautiful inside. Yeah, it's cool. So I'll give you that. The board is also really pretty, like they spent a lot of time on that. Oh, of course. So then the hard drive is up here. There's the SCSI with the little handle on it. And that's what we're going to be replacing with this guy. All right, so next, see what I did there? We got to remove these little guys. And then I will pass the torch to Steve who... Oh, son of a... Oh my gosh. Oh, jeez. Thanks, I fix it. There you go. Those screws have probably not been undone for like 30 years. Yeah, I would say so. Okay. All right. So this is basically like a whole cage we can pull out. But first, we got to remove your mother board, yep. as Ada Blasi might say. So yeah, just pull that guy out. I'll get the cables. There we go. Uh, just need a little more room. There we go. And remove that beautiful. Oh, that is lovely. Beautiful piece of engineering there. <laughs> Isn't that sweet? Um, Look at those memory slots, my goodness. Yeah, tons of slots for memory, lots of miniaturization. There's the 68040 processor there. I've never actually gone this far in the next process, but from what uh, the genius Steve has showed me, I guess we can just do some tag yeah. team action. You want to do uh, some forceful pulling with each hand under these, yeah. and I will guide this. There we go. Out. And then this baby just slides right out. There we go. Oh, hey, there's um. A logo on way on the inside there. Oh, wow. Didn't even notice that. Like, yeah. we only have one board in here, but we can put three more of who yeah. knows what else wow. inside this thing, yeah. The extraction process is complete. Go ahead, Steve, and do your side. Of course. And then I will unscrew. I guess I could unscrew it if I get another screwdriver. Nah, we have to share. <laughs> Rules. This is team building. Use one tool. 
Go, Maestro. All right. All right, I heard a ka-chunk, so that's probably a good start. It is free. All right. And this says, next step, 3.3 with patch 2. So we have a slight problem. Steve! Don't do this to me, man. Well, it's it's relatively minor. So okay, good. The hard drive has a bracket on it, which helps keep things inside of the system. Yeah. And the hard drive from wobbling around in there. And unfortunately, our SCSI 2SD, well, the holes here don't exactly line up. <laughs> That's true. So there are 3D printed solutions and stuff like that, but I have a cheapo option. You just take this anti-static bag, and this will just make sure that none of the pinouts or the metal components touch anything of the metal inside of the right. next case. We're just gonna secure it with a little bit of a band, and look at that. We you want to pop this bad boy in here. This should be next step 3.3, I think, is on there, and it's formatted. Great. So we're going to get our SCSI cable here. This chonky boy. Got to make sure we plug this in. That's a tight fit. Sweet. And we'll place that as best we can here. What do you, what do you think next here? I mean, just put it back together, right? Yeah, and well, hope for the best. All right, let's do it. All right, it's all back together. So... Steve, if you'd like to do the honors, you can push the power button oh my. right up there. Go I, ahead and get it. I feel it. blessed. Ah, that's already much quiet. Ooh, okay, testing system. Okay, boot from the SCSI disk, I'm assuming. So B for boot, SD, SCSI disk. And let's see if it reads anything. It kind of, oh. Booting from SCSI, target one. There it is. So it could be root with no password. Oh, all right, well that was easy. <laughs> okay, so we're loading up here. We got the old black and white beach ball. The dock is full, like more full than my last system. Now the question is, well, hey, this thing is working. What do we do now? Just to see if it's, is this Mathematica? It looks like the bit from uh, Tron. Yeah, totally, it totally does. Yeah. Oh, it is yeah, Mathematica, it is. okay. Wow. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> that makes the both of us. That noise is kind of like the new Mac OS Big Sur default boop. It is. It is. Have you ever seen the funk sound in here? No, I have actually, not. Yeah, let's just take a look at that actually for fun. So we'll go over to the dock, open up the I can't preferences. believe we woke up at 5.25 a.m. <laughs> this is 5 in the morning and we're doing this. Anyway, we'll uh, just play around with the sounds for a little bit. Let me see more. <laughs> hey, man. <f> you. <laughs> <laughs> what? They put some funny stuff on this card. Ah? Uh? Oh, whoa, oh, 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 eep, eep. They all like that, Steve. There you go. Oh, that, that sort of clipped there. Yeah, hang on, let's try that again. There you go. Eep? <laughs> I think what I wanted, here we go. So that was a built-in sound that was not wow. added in. So that that was one that iconic over. thing that came over to the Mac, yeah. Sweet. Speed-wise, just from my experience, it feels about the same as the hard drive. Okay. But it's way less <laughs> noisy. <laughs> anyway, so we're poking around the system here just to run some apps for fun to see how it performs. I did also notice there was a games folder on here. Let's yeah, I think I saw Tetris. Was Tetris in there? Yeah, I Let's think it was in the uh, the main directory. Yeah, we got Tetris, Astroloids, Reversi! Oh, there we go. <laughs> All these features and Reversi for just how much did you guess? <laughs> 500? Ooh, Risk. That's that's fun. Yeah, let's play a 20-hour game of yeah, Risk. <laughs> let's just play a quick game of Tetris here. No! no this is too fast for me! Just about? crank it up to 11. <laughs> these go to 11. Does it go to 11? No, it goes to 9. <laughs> There's a lot of other stuff on here. I also noticed there is concurrence, which was like, you know, the Apple Keynote software. This was like the grandfather to that. Ah, uh, yes. So that would be cool to look into quickly. Oh, well, they also have like a Lotus program, Lotus Presentation Builder. There's a lot of stuff on here. I'm, I may have to do another episode later just tinkering with Next software because I haven't used that much of it. But let's see if we can build a like a business presentation. Are there like themes or something I can kind of get started with here? <laughs> There's the inspector. Yes, New from Templates. Yes. Oh gosh, seriously, dude. It doesn't just give me a pretty little gallery like we get now. I have to browse the file system from the root directory and go wherever the hell this thing is. Yeah, we have no idea. I have no clue. Uh, we'll, we'll just make this. We'll just make this, um, why you need 
the information super highway. Oh, great. <laughs> Let's make it smaller. There you go. And we'll say play. Hey! Nice. Hey, now we got a nice presentation. You should put like, uh, like, uh, I don't know, silly things. Bullet points. Bullets like. There we go. So now we will, I think, command six. Oh, there you go. And play. And here we go. This is my business presentation. I love it. Samples. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Oh, oh nice. Yeah, we got sexy graphics going on here. Play that. That is awesome. Nice. Radio, past, present, and future. Next slide. The history of radio. Oh, this is this is kind of cool. Like this is really neat. Old slideshow software. Oh my gosh. I think the display oh. just makes it even better. Oh yeah. And let's take a look at the credits here. Ooh, little animated graphic. Nice. Western Avenue, Chevy Chase, Maryland. Is that a real place? <laughs> like the actor. It is. It oh is. Oh my gosh. What? As you can see here, our company is doing well. This is this this would be perfect for like PowerPoint karaoke where you have to like. Improvise what these act these things actually mean. <laughs> this is when the giant robot alligators invaded the planet Earth and ate the Empire State Building. That's what that is right there. Moon.app. Will it get us to the moon? You know, I really wish. Okay, so it's like um, a phase calculator. I, I thought it was interesting because, like, you know, the Apple Watch has that moon phase thing. So today... Is Sunday the 15th, and this is 2021. This is August. So let's type in August 15th, 2021, and see if the calculation is actually how it... Not the Breathe app. There we go. And go ahead and hit time travel. Bam! Wow. There you go. Math is cool. The moon doesn't change. Moon doesn't change. Or probably would <laughs> somehow. It probably, like, orbits slower over time. I don't know planets. <laughs> is anybody a moon scientist? <laughs> So, if you guys want to try this, I put a link in the description where you can get your own kit. Hopefully there's still some available. If they're not, I'll try to keep the link up to date as much as I can. Thanks again for helping, Steve. Of course, anytime. Where can the kind people find you? Well, they can find me on YouTube by searching for Mac84, or you can find me on Instagram and Twitter. My handle is Mac84TV. Fantastic. And if you guys want to see more tech episodes, I release them all the time on the Computer Clan here. Feel free to subscribe. I like to do episodes about rare and retro tech, new tech, and of course, scam tech. And if you want to help support the Computer Clan, plus get some awesome perks along the way, feel free to pledge to my Patreon. Thank you in advance for your support. And hey, if you like this episode, you know what to do. Thanks, and I'll see you next time. Catch the crazy, and pass it on.